another brand new video. Today I'll be make shooting a cooking vlog. For it, I'll remove the fish and chicken from the freezer and place it in the water for the ice to get melt. You know that we're foodies, we have to eat something before we start cooking. So I'm having this. And now let's start with the chicken preparation first. On the chicken, I'm adding one spoon of ginger and garlic paste along with one spoon of green chili paste. And one spoon of white vinegar. If you don't have white vinegar, you can also add lemon juice. And half spoon of black pepper powder. Half spoon of red chili powder. And half spoon of salt. This one is optional half spoon of garam masala entirely optional now our main ingredient five to six spoons of Greek yogurt rub everything really well on the chicken and let rest for at least three to four hours whilst our chicken is resting let here I remove all the fish from the packets and these are them Now I remove their eyes, mouth, I mean the entire face from the fish because I don't need them. And these are all of them watching me with their big eyes. So let's clean the fish for it. I put 3 to 4 spoons of wheat flour and then I'm going to wash it in water by rubbing, rubbing it continuously. This process will help you like there will be no smell in your fish. That's great. No smell in your fish. What a great news. Now I've washed all the fishes after washing them in the wheat flour mixture and these are them. We are going to take these fishes to the little cats outside. They love fish mouths. Here they come. Now let's prepare for the fish. On the fish I'm adding 1 spoon of ginger and garlic paste, 1 spoon of green chili paste, one spoon lemon juice, half spoon of salt, half spoon of red chili powder, half spoon of garam masala entirely optional. Half spoon of turmeric powder, some fennel seeds, and cumin seeds. After that, you're gonna add this masala. I just don't know its name. to six spoons of gram flour after that add three to four spoons of water and rub the this mixture on your fish properly for a little touch I'm adding one spoon of orange food color mix this again really well and then deep fry it in hot oil and this is it really yummy I can't tell you the taste now here I've cut a few potatoes and I've thinly chopped them now I'm adding water into these potatoes you know one advantage of adding water in potatoes is that your potatoes won't get black nice hack right now these are all the ingredients that I added in the potato. Sorry I was not able to shoot this video. But you will be seeing all the ingredients written on the screen. So you can easily add them. Please forgive me. I added some water in, in that mixture and afterwards it seemed that it was a bit more watery. So I'm adding a few more spoons of gram flour. And that's the perfect mixture. Your mixture should not be too thick nor too smooth. 
Now here I have pita bread you can easily get it from any store and I am applying water onto it. The advantage of applying water onto this pita bread is that it gets soft. And now apply this potato mixture that we made earlier. And when your oil gets super hot then add in your pita bread along with the potato mixture. And as soon as you have added it you are gonna like spread all all over the pita bread or else all the potato will automatically fall in the oil and this is it the very beautiful color is out and they were so yummy i can't explain to you so this was the chicken that we marinated earlier if you can remember and now i'm grilling it outside but you can easily bake it in the oven which is more great so enjoy Delicious.